challenge was to help or to improve the hand wash facilities at a school. Uh, the school had uh, roughly 500 students and 12 faculty members. When we got there, they had three working water taps for everybody. In India, their hand wash facility was supposed to be a room in between the boys and the girls room. And that room was underutilized. It was undersized. It didn't have enough places for the kids to wash the hands. And so the scope of the project then became design a better hand wash facility for the kids, something that they'll want to use. And then in turn, while you're doing the physical design, prepare yourself to teach the kids why it's important to use this new hand wash facility. That was the coolest part, was the, that we're helping these kids out in this school, you know, in a different country and, you know, as well as, uh, on top of that, working with uh, other countries, you know, and, and you really, really kind of came together, you know, for the one cause and the competition kind of went on the back burner because you were there to help the kids out. The competition was held at School 125 was the name of it. And at the end, we became Team 125. Everyone was working together for the betterment of the school, for the betterment of the kids. By, I would say, Wednesday, the third of four days of the competition, it was no longer a competition. Everyone was working together, just trying to finish the project and keep the kids healthy. Oh, man, working together with the other countries, you can take the trophy, you can take the medals, you can, you can put that all on a shelf, but working with the Basque region, working with India, um, working with Australia, to see four teams come together as four teams on Monday, and by Tuesday afternoon, realizing that we're all just here for one purpose, and really who cares about who wins or loses this personally, this is about making sure that before we leave, 400 kids have a place to wash their hands, 400 kids know how to wash their hands, and hopefully with some of the skills and, and the demonstrations that we gave to the kids while we were there, maybe we changed one kid's life, and that kid is going to go on to change thousands of lives. Yeah, yeah, and it was very cool that we did the lessons, everyone did their lessons, and to see the kids the, the following day, you know, carrying out some of those practices that, that we were trying to teach them, we know that we really got through to them and, and hopefully it transfers on to other kids and other schools and, and that really was the goal, I think, behind the, the lessons for, for properly hand washing. It's very satisfying getting to work with them face to face and see their their joy from our help was very nice. To, to be able to, to go outside of the United States and do what we do, I, I guess it just, it shows that we care. We care what we do. We care about what we do here. Um, and we want to do it the best that we possibly can. And um, I think when we left the U.S. and we went over there, we brought that with us. We brought, we want the best for you. And um, it showed, it really showed. I mean, the, the end project, the people that were there were so, you know, welcoming. They, they, they wanted what we had to offer. I think it just, it just shows that our students, when they go through our programs, when Fox Valley Tech brings them in, when they leave, they're prepared to go anywhere. As far as the employer, you know, the, the time off was, wasn't an issue. It was, you know, something uh, in a sense important to them and important to the, the sponsors and the school. You know, it was, you know, everybody had a little piece of the pie. The opportunity to travel worldwide as a plumber, I never imagined would happen. But my employer was very supportive. He had no problems with me going. He also thought it was the opportunity of a lifetime um, that I should take advantage of it. Well, I think first of all, it was an honor for him to be nominated by his teacher, Randy. And uh, anytime you get an opportunity to travel the world and educate others on the plumbing and help another country with plumbing, um, I think it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. So when he came to me, I, I didn't hesitate. I absolutely gave my blessing and fully supported. Well, Adam, the 
told me he was picked in school and then he asked me if, if we had any problem with it and we're always in favor of having our students or workers that can advance themselves or get into a special event to do it. I'm a labor coordinator. There's nothing more appealing than when, when an individual succeeds. Uh, whether he ex succeeds in India or, or here, when a person uh, stands out, it's a great thing. Very much enjoyed the trip and the challenge and everything about it. I would love to do it again, but I don't know if I will be able to. It was one of, if not the most eye-opening experience I have ever had. Yeah, once in a lifetime is the way I keep describing it. Yeah, it's, it's changed my life. I look at things more differently than I did before. Um, it, it solidified the way that I feel about what I do. Um, I've always told students when they walk through the door that this is one of the most important trades there are in the world, is being a plumber. You deal with sanitation. You deal with people's health inadvertently, you know, in, in a way that most people don't think about it. They see doctors, uh, nurses. They don't see the plumber as doing something like this. I've always believed we have. I've always believed that that. And I've said it, but I think it's sort of fallen on deaf ears. Now I can prove it that this is more than just, you know, the old hots on the left, coals on the right. It's life-saving. It's, uh, I'll never be the same. I can't wait to do something more, you know, and that's what I see myself doing, is continuing to find ways to, to branch out and do things like this. It makes me very appreciative of everything we have here, from running water and soap to uh, garbage and recycling to everything. Everyone hates it as a kid that your parents remind you to wash your hands, but you go over there and a lot of the kids don't even have the opportunity to wash their hands to remain healthy. It's, it's very eye-opening and I'll forever be changed by this trip.